sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients to choose the perfect the Lego minifigure. But me, I accidentally added an in concoction, Chemical X. <gasps> and so, the Lego Powerpuff Girls was born! Thanks a lot, Lego. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, it is me, Lego Master Infinity Productions, and today we're going to review of Lego Dimensions Wave 9 for most things I have to looking forward to get all the packs. It is a The Powerpuff Girls packs. So maybe I'll call The Powerpuff Hero. So these two sets may have to be team like 7, 1, 3, 4, 6, and only for 19 free pieces, and it only retails for $24.99. This O right here is only the Buttercup Fun Pack, only like 7, 1, 3, 4, 3, and it's only for 56 pieces, and it only retails for $11.99. So, the question is, am I a huge fan of the Powerpuff Girls? Hmm, a little bit, because I actually kind of look interested to watch all the entire Powerpuff Girls, because one of the most successful shows on Cartoon Network, get a high rating, slot of merchandise, and it got a full length movie. But until the round with 2016 reboot got along, because I don't know why Cartoon Network charge all the entire things, because they have a lot of bad reputation. I don't know what I'm going to say, but let's get on to review. So this is the final wave of Lego Dimensions. In my opinion, I don't want to get Lego Dimensions game canceled. No, it's not real, it's fake. It probably had to be the Lego Dimensions 2 for next year, but announced, but I'm not sure about that. So anyways, let's get on to review for Lego Dimensions packs. But first, we had to go to the team pack first and Dan Fun Pack. So, let me take a look at this, the packaging that I got. Because I only got this from GameStop to order some stuff. I really look at the artwork for the Powerpuff Girls. You can actually turn Rebolt into a vehicles like Octi, Sonic Squid, and Super Skunk. And the PPG smartphone turned into a PPG hotline and a Powerpuff magnet. It looks kind of look interesting, but I actually kind of like it. So, next one, the last packaging. And the boxes fall, no big deal. We take a look at the fun pack with the buttercup as well as the packaging. Looks pretty cool. You can actually use a Mega Blast bot turned into a slamming guitar and Kapow Cannon. Looks kind of look cool, by the way. I need to build a Kapow can. It looks like it has giant fists. Might be awesome if I play it in the game. So, let's get on to review minifigure first. We do have the leader of the Powerpuff Girl. It is the Blossom. And I actually I'll admit, I love the printing on the torso. And, okay, I compared it to minifigure. And, oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Look at this. The head molds are huge. <laughs> that is kind of silly. I actually love it. I mean, Blossom might be taller than Batman or even Sonic. I mean, look at the head molds. They did a great job. Let me take off her head. and want to look at the back of the torso. And also, I'm not going to take that her head off. Probably not a little bit. I do love the printing of the legs. As well as the new head mold printing looks actually great. Looks kind of awesome. And also, they're using pink. And the toy tag, it says POW on the toy tag. Looks kind of interesting. Alright, let's put Blossom back. So, next, the minifigure has to be... We have another kindness, the cutest little adorable Bubbles. I mean, she looks kind of cute. I mean, I love the molting head as well as the sisters. I mean, I'm glad I'm using the original molting head from not using Reboot for those the little blue ball things. I mean, the little blue ball things. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not using reboot things, except the buttercup. It's actually fine. But I do love the printing of the torso as well as legs. As well as the molding hands actually look cute. But yeah, it looks kind of look interesting. As well as the toy tech. The second one has to be the zib. Looks kind of like comic punch. Looks cool. Alright. And last but not least, we have the strength and the anger. It is the buttercup. I mean, it looks cool, but I do like the buttercup molting her head. 
I mean, I love the green torsos actually are pretty great, and her legs. But also, yeah, they do have a little problem like spiky hair on there, but that's no big deal, in my opinion. But also, I love her molting her head, the face looks pretty good. And also, there's another of Comic Punch called BAM, it's actually a green one. Oops, I accidentally dropped it, my bad. Let me put it back where I was. So, I think that's it for all the minifigures. Let's get on the vehicles. Alright, we take a look at the Acti Belving Bull vehicle. So yeah, that's her Bubbles Kindless Octopus doll. It looks kind of cool. And I actually kind of like the, using the, the dark or even the light purple pieces. I actually kind of look interesting to make those vehicles less or even colorful. Yeah, and also I do like the printing of the eyes of Acti. <laughs> it looks interesting. I were making an Acti small one version of this one, so give it the bubbles. But yeah, it looks cool. I love the Acti build. Let's go on to the next one. Next one, it is the PPG smartphone. I'll admit it's actually a look interesting, but I think from the reboot it looks, I don't know. But I would prefer making a PP hotline or PPG hotline from making like the original Powerpuff Girls like a phone, but it looks cool. I like the build look like colorful, and also I love the printing of the cute little thing to make it look like from the original show look like adorable from the show, but also it looks cool. I like the colorful vehicles and that, but uh, next one we have, and last but not least, we have the Mega Blast Bot. All I mean, actually okay for the build, but actually I want to build the Kapow Cannon for that. I mean, it looks colorful for the Buttercup to make her green, less colorful all the vehicles like Avenger Time, Powerpuff Girls, and Teen Titans. Yeah, it looks interesting. And also, I actually kind of love the transparent green pieces to add on there. But maybe I'll build the Kapow Cannon later on the game before I can play it. So, I think that's it all the vehicles and the minifigures, so let's get on the instructions. And alright, we took a look at the instructions as well as Buttercup, Blossom, and Blo- bu they can't- and Bubbles. Ah, uh, okay. So, it's comparison to the instructions the same thing as well, but I had to go with this team pack first. Let me take a look. You don't know you can build the- in the game. And there's a lot of more packs, as well as the story packs, already did this. Done with that, and the Buttercup instructions, as well as same thing, to compare that. You have a lot more packed, and that's it. That's the instructions. I'm done. I am so out of here. And that's the end of the video, but if you're a fan of the Power Buff Girls to get some Lego sets, or anyone else have the starter pack to get those packs, then recommend to go buy it. If you don't, then yeah, you don't have to. It might be not for everyone, but it might for everybody to go buy some packs for the fans of the Powerpuff Girls. Oh man, I actually want to play the Powerpuff Girls to be crossover with the Inventor Time. That would be a lot more awesome. But I'll see you guys on the next video, probably like the Teen Titans Go pack and the Beetlejuice pack. That's all I have to say. See you guys later. Like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Later.